When you're high in the sky like a big pizza pie, it's a morning. That's not how the song goes. Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond. Welcome back to the world of Super Princess Peach. In the last episode, we got high into the sky, and unfortunately, we did not find Emma's sky up here. But instead, we found some delectable, delectable goodies like the final vibe tea and the natural power. This will allow us to refill our vibe gauge just by standing still. And then we can refill the heart gauge just by using the vibe gauge. Something that we wouldn't really need to have if the levels just started us off at full health and vibe juice, but of course not. Huh, <sighs> whatever. We got all of the power-ups available to us. This last one, I have no idea. We'll have to wait and see if we can actually get that. So let's go ahead and enter 7-4 and finish off World 7. Not right the second, but... I guess I could just like, that'd be kind of a weird and foolish joke, be like, oh, speed runs so quickly, it just speeds up the entire footage, and there, I did it. I'm the best at this game! Great timing. I guess this would be a great opportunity to test out this new ability. We stand still, and I believe it's when Perry eats us, is when it starts happening. Uh, any minute now. Any minute, do I gotta like move a little bit, and then Perry will think of eating me? Maybe. Come on, Perry, I know you wanna. I know you wanna. Perry? Perry? Don't I look delectable? Some may say I taste like a delicious peach. There you go. It's only when Perry eats us. So you gotta wait quite a while for that to happen. So you kinda like gotta go out of your way for it. But it's a thing for you. I guess it's not overly helpful since you gotta use up that to fill up the heart. So it's basically just like a start of a level if you don't wanna like go around and uh, defeat a bunch of enemies first. But it's just... Oh, uh, whatever. Let's see, is there anything? Yes, we can go get this up here. Nice little happy cloud, and we are good? Question mark, ouch. Never quite what it seems. I just find it a lot easier to, like, uh, defeat enemies to get the vibe back up. Also, it gives you uh, level progress, so there's also that, but whatever. Turns out it's a 100% playthrough in, uh, after all. Yeah, that's it. I'm just overachieving! <laughs> Oh my god, every time I want to get cocky, it just blows up in my stinking face. Okay. Let's get that. Give me a little bit of vibe juice. And I could wait around. Can I just duck? That would make it so much easier if I just do this. No, of course not. I ain't got no patience for that, so we're just going to go about it as if I never got the power-up to begin with. Which is great. Very counterintuitive, I know, but whatever. It's the end of the game. We got all the power-ups anyway, so whatever. Uh, just go over this way. Head up through the thunder clouds if it will let me. Uh, let's see. We got ourselves more coins. Oh, geez. A bunch of spinies running around. Let's see if I could go up this way. Come the fruit on. It's just not coming up Millhouse again. Head down here. Get rid of this cloud and candy. I wonder if it is a reference to cloud and candy from Yoshi's Story. Since everything else in this game seems to be a reference of some kind. Uh, let's see. Void ease, please. Thanks, you. Thanks, you. Okay, whatever. No, I didn't want to slide through the pipe. I wanted to slide into your DMs and get through the pipe. Again, probably sounds inappropriate somehow. Didn't mean for it to sound that way. Uh, hey, we haven't used tears in a while. We could create a beanstalk, hooray! Uh, uh, double branching, hey, it's quite literally a branching pathway because we're climbing up a branchy type thing of Mahuzi. You get it? Am, am, I, am, 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 am I funny? Do, do, do you think so? Maybe? Possibly? Anyone? Anyone at all? Okay. We'll get that and that and that and it was full health anyway so that was a waste of time and a waste of vibe or whatever just sending the good vibes my way maybe just like getting myself that extra vibe support this is a good cage uh phew, there's so many things to explore there are plot device balls over there head up here and what do we got what do we got what do we got okay, this guy and we hit each other in succession awesome we could bounce up this thing or not and we're good okay it was just for money but money's important 
possibly. I don't know if it actually is at this point. Maybe we should just not care anymore. But you've got to have money. Do the plots of ice balls only affect you when you're trying to use wind? It seems that way! Wow! It seems that way. Yes, indeed. So, uh, what now? You plan on bringing the umbrella... The umbrella? Well, I guess a hot air balloon kind of is just like a super umbrella. Yeah, no, I'm stuck here. I can't get it. I guess I could fall off a cliff. That's a great piece of life advice right there. Uh, let's try... I can get over here. We'll do that. Ouch. Of course, it always sticks the landing. Just always works out like that. I missed the vibe gem. I missed that. Missed the pathway. Oh, I can't take the hot air balloon with me. Head over here. How much you want to bet this is just a pipe to bring me back to the pipe that I went out from or when it came in from? Basically that. Well, we got a different area. We got ourselves a new little... Oh! But where are we going now? This is... Oh! So many ohs! Uh... Fooey. Well, no, 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 no. Uh, I don't know if I want to go down here. Guess I don't have a choice anymore. Mm, okay, it's a hot air balloon thing. Uh, let me think. What do you want me to do, exactly? Okay, there's a possibility, there's a pathway that would let me start from the bottom. Huh. Uh, missed that. Doesn't matter too much. Should be right here. Yes, he is. It's a toad. Okay. Now that's taken care of, I guess we just head back over this way. Okay, that wasn't too difficult. We got toe number two. It's fine! We're having an easy good time, right, everyone? You better smile if you want to smile. Yeah, smile if you want to smile. People die when they are killed. Wahaha. Uh, let's see. More uh, teardrops in the sky. Bring that up. Oh, very high up. Very, very high up. Okay. Anything else? Ah, there's spikes over there. Don't want to deal with that. None of that nonsense for me, thank you. I'm on a spike-free diet. Which is good, because I can't imagine having to pass that. Okay, whatever! <laughs> oh, Steps up ruin everything. Okay, I guess that tells us what the secret is. And where it is. And why it is. Uh, we head down here. Ouch. Head over this way. Uh, let's see. Can I get those? Just had to get those two coins, even though money doesn't matter anymore. It matters to me. Like, what if the coins have a face? Then it, it would be sad if we didn't get it. And I don't want the coin to be sad. It's like the episode of Spongebob where, like, the money comes to life and they guilt trip Mr. Krabs into spending all of it right away. He's all like, I don't want to spend it. Okay, there we go. We got ourselves a puzzle piece. Puzzle D piece 7. Jump down this way. Got some very bulgy clouds. And we're good. That's, was that the final toad? Or, no, it was a puzzle piece, you fool. You fool! That's not a puzzle toad, toad puzzle thing, piece, one piece, or something. It's like that one mini game, Mario Party 3, the instructions like, oh no, toad got turned into a stamp. It just gets so dramatic all of a sudden. Okay, it's a very nice hit. Very glad I didn't have to deal with that nonsense. I feel like I'm about to have to deal with the nonsense of backtracking because I have very little faith in this toad actually being at the end of the level. You know what? Case in point. Just go back. Uh, let's go into this pipe over here that I thought was just like a place that would send me to a different place or be the place that I would go from enter. Okay, I guess it sort of is still that, but it leads me to a new place that I haven't been to before, so it allows me to uh, get the toad because I saw that the toad was here. So let's go ahead and find him if we can, while getting lots of coins. This is another good place for grinding coins, except not really. Pipes are better, because they can respawn. And I don't have to deal with this nonsense not being able to climb a stinking ledge. There we go. Head over here. And, oh boy. Fly up a little bit. And get rid of... God darn it! Go, 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 go! Destroy all the toads. Toads. I would like to destroy all the toads, but no, these are not toads, they're Goombas. Ouch. What if, like, Goombas are just discarded, um, like, discarded toad hats that come to life because they're all angry that they got thrown away or something like that? I don't know. 
head over here. And at the end of this should be... Oh, I was hoping we would land right on the toad. But that's not even where the toad is! Huh? Okay, bring us up here. And it's just... It was just for funsies. I don't want to have funsies game, I want to have progress -sies. progress -sies is the only way I could have funsies. Didn't I get this? This is... Is this just exactly the same as like a different thing we did recently? Like this exact location, this exact like block layout and everything? Okay. That was weird. And now we're back down here. Guess I'll meet you at the end. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy! That blows. Oh, I was really hoping the coin would just fall into the pit. Just missed it barely. That would have been funny. Okay. Got that taken care of. That was the first level. Uh, let's keep going. 7 5. Uh, no secret right off the bat. What do we got? Oh, lack of two. I guess it makes sense. We're in cloud. Again, is his car made of flesh? Or or is his or is flesh made of car land? I don't know. Just like, what's the cloud? Like, what deciphers the purpose and existence of a cloud? You gotta wonder. Head up here. Oh, I assume you want me to do this. Okay. Go, 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 go. And we're good. Uh, let me just use my 3,000 coins and put them to good use real quick. And by quick, I mean not quick at all. Okay, we're good. Got ourselves a full vibe again. And I assume this is a secret. It's a sled thing that I still don't know the name of. Get the fruit away from me, you stinking happy paratroopa. I don't care if you're happy. Just get out of stop raining on my parade. It's supposed to be in the sky above the rain. Uh, let's see. Ouch. Ouchies! Let's keep on going. And that was it. Cool. Was there a different pathway? I know there was, like, different pathways, but there was, was there a different pathway? Probably not. Just not even gonna bother. Okay, there's a secret in here. Another cloud. Gee, I wonder what we gotta do. I wonder if there's a toad right behind it. Guess we'll find out when we get up there. Uh, just see. Oh, geez. He's gonna wait a little bit, but no. He just wants to blow up right away. Yeah, again. The stinking cloud of the toad. They really love this layout for some reason. Just having it on the left. And having this little box. But whatever. Saved another toad. I got, uh, this is 7-5, right? So there's only two more for this area. And then we got a boss fight. Oh no. I can't believe I spoiled a boss fight. Happening at the end of a level. Oh jeez, or at the end of a world. Or an area. Whatever you want to call them. It's all the same. It's like, Nintendo in general is like always got them confusing names. Like, New Super Mario Bros. 2 is actually the third New Super Mario Bros. game. Because it's on the 3DS. But you can play it on your 3DS. Your new 3DS. Your 2DS. Your 3DS XL. Your new 3DS XL. And your stinking Neo Geo Pocket Edition and Knuckles. It's all very confusing. Slide down here, though. That's not confusing. It's very, very fun. Uh here. There's a secret of some sort that we could find. Uh, it's right up here, maybe? If we can. Okay, we're going up the third. Another cloud. Is it toad? Because where there's a cloud, there's a toad from what I've gathered. Uh, this might be a bit confusing. It might be a bit difficult. Oh, did I get it? Did I get it? Nice, nice, nice. Okay, they switched it up a bit. There was no way for me to like, stand on top of the cloud while doing the wind, and then it was on the right side this time. Ooh, fancy. There's more level afterwards. They're mixing it up a bit. Okay, I appreciate that. I would also appreciate not dying. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Is there vibe stuff in here? I appreciate that. Yes, awesome. Exactly what I was looking for. Just what I needed. Let's go over here. And how can I very impatient, darn it. Okay. And we're good. Very, very nice. This is a nice, easy breezy thing. I appreciate the idea of like leaving these final levels for each area, making them super easy. Because then it just has a nice little time right at the end. Oh, you could change the direction of the wind. That's a cool mechanic. Which would change the direction of the bonsai bills, but apparently not. 
Just head head first into danger, because Peach fears no Bullet Bill or Bonsai Bill. Like that's probably also the reason why I didn't think um think too much about like Bullet Bill being a name, because like they're all called Bill, like Bullet Bill, Bonsai Bill, Bombshell Bill, and stuff like that. But Torpedo Ted, it just sticks out and it's really funny. So like if it was like Bonsai Bob or Butch or something. I probably noticed it was actually a name, but I didn't until Torpedo Ted came into existence. Let's all give it up for Torpedo Ted, the most underappreciated character in Mario... No, in video game history. Uh, let's see. Okay, we got ourselves... Uh, let's use a Skyward Strike. That. Takes us all the way over there. Is the Toad over there? Can you show me, please, maybe? Of course, it's not going to show me, but I assume that's where it is. Uh, let's see. I don't think I'm going to be able to make it, so... Uh, let's ho head over here. And eventually... Just keep on running. We'll make it up here. I guess it's better to have the wind going this way, so I can just, like, press up against the wall. It's not too bad. And there you go. This wasn't where I needed to go. This was where I needed to go. Uh... We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> okay. Let's head down here. And we're good. Oh, that was all three toads, by the way. So we could just exit. Exit, exit. Very, very cool and stuff. But, like, all these pipes and whatnot. Is it just, like, get your footing or whatever? I wonder. Oh, jeez. I'm all the way back up here, which is not great. But, whatever. I'll cut away to when I get down there, because I think there might be a secret of some sort. Okay, back over here we get ourselves... A whole lot of nothing? Am I supposed to bounce on the bonsai bills to get up here? It's just a pit that I passed along the way. So I didn't actually have to come up here. Cool. No, I can't stand still here. Oh no, the power up is useless. Oh wow, what? I'm under the sea now all of a sudden. In the sky. Oh, I guess maybe we're in a cloud. When you're in a cloud in the sky like a big moist wet pie, it's a water level. It's an auto scrolling water level. That didn't work out as well as I thought it did. Torpedo Ted, buddy! Hooray! Glad we got to see you before the LP ended. Hopefully we get to see you in the final area as well. Oh, it's a golden Torpedo Ted. Ooh, fancy. The limited edition version. Limited edition version. Edition. And Knuckles. Uh, let's keep going. So if I have a choice, because it's an auto-scroller. Uh, head down here. Is there gonna be like one final Starfy thing? No, we found all the Starfies. Well, I found one of the Starfies. We passed all the Starfy possibilities, is what I'm trying to say. Now that that's taken care of. More tears! Hooray! That's a jerkish thing to Mahoozie. Oh, wait, I'm gonna run out of vibe juice. I'm gonna run out of vibe juice. Okay, thank you. And we're good! Very, very nice. 50 corns. Course clear. We're almost at the end of the LP, guys! It came and went. Actually, it didn't come and go so quickly. It's actually it felt like a very, very long LP. Because it has been a very, very long LP for me, at least. But usually, even still, I feel like I just go through it a lot quicker. But now I'm just going at a leisurely pace, for better or for worse. It's been a thing. Also, hello! What's that icon I see down there? We're not saving a toad today! Okay, the stakes are a bit higher. Ah, who am I kidding? It's just the green guy. Uh, stretch the platforms, make Peach jump. Aim for the top, you're ready to start? Sure. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we just gotta fling her up to the top. Don't really care about getting everything. I think if you touch an enemy, you have to start over. Even though that's not how it works normally. Uh, let's jump up here. And can we make it? Thank you. Realign ourselves. Skip some areas. Okay, can I cheat this? Thank you. And then one more. If I could get it. Oh boy, there's a lot of them. And we're good. Okay, that wasn't too bad. There's a 
Giant Magician up ahead. Wind is his weakness, so attack his head with a Cyclone. But he's dizzy, that's your chance. I hate magicians. Grr, why do you hate magicians? Seems like a very weird thing. Like, usually, like, people... I can understand, like, the people being like, Oh, clowns are just stuff. Well, I guess I can't understand, because I'm always, like, a clown advocate. But I'm used to it by now, so I'm saying, like, people hate magicians. It's kind of Akotako. Okay. We got ourselves a little sparkly thing. i going to use wind to confuse it. We got full vibe juice now, so it should be rather easy. Let's see, we'll just have to wait for you to get back. And wind! Oh yeah, with how much we used wind in this area, I guess it would make sense for me to do that. Okay, so maybe all those like cloud puzzles were like leading me to the idea of just getting used to it. Okay. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Go up, 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 up. Oh, I can't! Ugh. Why can't I... That doesn't make sense. Like, why is its head in, like, a... In the foreground, but its body's in the background? I could jump under that. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Uh, let's see. Jump up here. Just a jump. And we're good. Okay, good. Got that hidden. But I need some extra vibe juice ASAP. Also, I could just cheat this. So I just need that one spin, that first initial spin, and I'll be good. Yeah, okay. So I could have been less wasteful, it seems. And now it's all blue! Da boo dee da boo da! Now it's all sad. Oh, it's like the Who thing where I have to use wind to get up there and stuff. Okay, so now I definitely need more vibe juice. Come on, Gamix and Magic Koopas, whatever your names are, give them to me. Because it's like very confusing. Because my first Mario game was Mario Party 5, and in that game, uh, the quote unquote Magic Koopas are just called Kamek. So I just thought Kamek was like a single character. And then the Toadies were called Magic Koopas. So, when I saw that they were called Toadies, I was like, nah, not in my house, they are not. So, it was like very Akotako. But whatever. Uh, I guess we go up there now. Oh, jeez. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, god darn it. Didn't even get it. Now, I'm very low health as well. That's not good. Uh, let's see. Keep on avoiding stuff if we can. Wait for more Kamek Koopas, whatever they're called, to get over here. Okay, we got that. We got ouchies. We got a heal. Definitely got a heal, unfortunately. Wish I could stand still here in this fight so I could get the heal and juice, but apparently not. Okay, fly up here. Um, gonna, gonna be tight. Gonna be tight. Oh, balls, balls, balls. Gonna miss it. Oh wait, you're coming down, you're coming down, coming down, coming down. Skyward Strike? Oh, I feel like I might have been able to get that if I just like did a running jump, maybe. I don't know. Let's just go ahead and try and get healed up. This is a tough fight. Uh, let's see, avoid that. Also, what is it with Luigi and Magicians now that I think about it? I guess he's always had sort of like a like a magic theme or a card theme, because like a Mario 64 DS, he ran the casino and stuff. So there was that. Uh, let me get that, please. Thank you. Uh, now it's up here. Let's spin. Thank you. Get up here. Jump on your head. Jump on your noggin. And let's see. Get healed just a little bit more, please. Okay, good. We got three hearts. Now I gotta wait for the Kamex anyway, so whatever. Uh, wait that. And just keep on waiting. We haven't had a crime boss. I guess, like, also the enemies have been doing that, because, like, sometimes they get super angry. Sometimes they got joyful randomly. Oh, no, I guess we had Kimbu, who was crying when we fight when we fought him, so that explains that, because they're all being influenced by the power of the Vibe Scepter. Uh, ouch. God diggity darn it. Okay. Uh, we got two of these. Okay, that should be good. That should be good. Should be good. Should be good. Come on. Okay, we got that. And... We're good. I got an olive! You saved the green man? Peach doesn't even know his stinking name! And that's it. No other celebratory lying or anything like that. We just throw him to the side and it's over. The backdrop is a far off land. A boy and an old man met on a mountain. Neither of them knew why the boy was there. The boy had strange powers, 
The mountain was dangerous, but his powers kept him safe. The old man knew nothing. Fearing for the boy's health, the old man took him home. As soon as he knew the boy had nowhere to go, he took him in for a while. The old man lived alone, so he was happy to have met the boy. The little boy loved the old man. They took walks, and he helped the old man work. Until one day. The two were out as usual, and were confronted by an evil pair. The evil pair demanded that the boy be handed over. The boy has odd powers, somehow they knew. The old man tried to protect the boy, but one of the evil pair used magic. The boy was hit with this magic and transformed into an umbrella. The boy umbrella and the old man were cruelly separated. This can't be. What to do? The Umbrella wiggled and freed himself from the hands of his captors. Days came and went. He was unable to move or talk when he saw someone coming. Please, pick me up! He screamed with all of his heart and started to glow. He got a traveler to notice him. The boy umbrella's power had saved him again. Time passed. The umbrella found himself in the corner of a shop. Almost no one noticed him, until one day, an old fellow felt his power. This is no simple umbrella, and he was no simple old fellow. He took the umbrella. This is where the Umbrella's adventure began, though he'd always dream of a reunion. Bowser's evil. The guys who kidnapped Grandpa and I are evil, and they must pay! Grandpa, I've decided to stay with the princess for a while. I have this feeling that if I accompany her on this adventure, someday, I'll find you, Grandpa. Enough talking already. The last battle will soon begin. Toadsworth, you sly dog! Oh my god, I can't believe it! The villa that I got in Pokemon Platinum got abandoned after I stopped the Let's Play and then Bowser took it over and now he's having his evil base of operations there! It's horrifying! Okay, but in all seriousness, we have made it to World 8. And I'm still very confused about that story. Like, who was narrating his own dream? Like, I guess I have, like, dreams where it's, like, not in first person, it's, like, third person, so it's, like, a story that I'm watching. So I guess it's not too peculiar that someone was narrating his, his dream. So he wasn't always an umbrella, he was found as like his regular form by the grandpa supposedly. Then he got turned into an umbrella for some reason, and got taken away, then he broke free somehow, then he got sold uh, to Toadsworth somehow, and Toadsworth the all-knowing soul who was able to like know that the umbrella was special but he never really did anything about it to get him turned back to normal he just kept him in storage until peach wanted to go out on an adventure sure um i honestly don't think there's any more to the story sorry to say we never actually find out who the grandpa is and we can never actually turn perry back to normal or reunite him with uh the person who took care of him that's sort of the end of it which is kind of unfortunate but I guess he's content to just stay with this new family, since we're the ones who are properly taking care of him now. If you consider smashing his face into a bunch of enemies, uh, proper care. But yeah, that's the end of the story, but not the end of ours. Next time on Super Princess Peach, 
we're headed to Bowser's Villa. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night. <laughs> Looking at you, I'm looking at you.